Okay guys, guess what? It's Monday, so we're doing some extreme craft. Part 9. So today is basically just doing the wall decor for our classroom. So let's head over there. As you guys might be able to tell, our classroom has definitely shrunk. Because I need... Oh yeah, this stuff is just holding the wall up. Because I need a bigger space for our art room. So our classroom is slightly smaller. But we can work with that. Today is wall decor, so we're going to be adding a chalkboard there, a few, a window there on this wall, and some other few other things, and then this wall we're totally cluttering up. Here I've taken a piece of chalkboard paper, cut it down to the size I want, and glued a popsicle stick to the bottom where we can put the chalk and the duster. On this side, I have glued a piece of sky that I cut out of a magazine. I made some little boxes that I have glued to the wall beneath the window and these I will use for like boxes for homework hand-ins, returned papers, papers with a name, your, imagine can go, your imagination can go wild. These walls don't have too much on them yet because I want to see what I'm going to put on this wall before I add the rest. So taking your insert sort of wall, we take some cute little stickers and place them on the wall to spell welcome. I have some printables, well just printouts that I got off the internet by googling middle school classroom posters. There's like a world of awesome looking posters. So here I have some of them. I glue three of the posters on this wall one tells you how to do your homework. Homework, do it right or do it over. Attempt every problem, write neatly, show all work, number your work, answer the questions that are asked, and circle your answers. One of our posters is on bullying. You can barely read the print and yeah. It says, what is bullying? Bullying is when someone, and then it goes on to a list of unreadable words, but if you can read them, pause your video and comment below what you think it says. It goes on to say, Bullying can happen to anybody, anytime, anywhere, anyway. Help make our school a bullying-free NZ school. The final poster on this wall says classroom rules. And there is a bunch of fun words. Smile, be a good listener, study, work hard, dream big, believe, take turns, never stop learning, clean up, have fun. Oh yeah, who wants to clean up? I didn't, and I didn't say that. Read, come to school every day, be prepared, make memories, laugh, share, learn and teach, play fair, do your best, use kind words, encourage, and so on. I glued the other poster right beside the window. It says champ. C for conversation, H for help, A for activity, M for movement, P for participation, and S for success. And then it has some other little poster thingies that say, activity is partner work, and I can't really read the other words right now. Asking and answering questions with partner. Anyways, over in this corner, these posters are like STEM posters that I made myself. And you guys can totally make your own posters for the room. They say, I think, and then whatever the student thinks. The evidence that supports my answer is, and then whatever that evidence is. Can you help me with, and whatever they need help with. And I solve for my answer by, and however they solve their answer. So I really love how my wall decor turned out. If you guys have any suggestions of wall decor that you have in your classroom, please comment down below and share them. Also comment down below what accessories you have in your classroom, because that is what we are doing next week? No, on Thursday. So you know, globes, books, pencils, binders, random things. But anyways, I think that this video, yes, I think that this video turned out pretty amazing. So I hope you guys enjoy and be sure to join me on Thursday for part 10. Bye!